in us. But she mentioned something that is very, very important, which was upon my heart, and uh, which is uh, knowing Jesus Christ. She mentioned to say, if you have a friend, you talk to a friend, you share things with a friend, a friend knows more about you. And that is exactly which is this year we want to know more about God, know more about Jesus Christ. There is no any other way that we are going to receive from God without knowing this Jesus. We need to know this Jesus. And as our children have been ministering through poems and songs. So we are celebrating. We just celebrated his birth. And we want to continue to celebrate Jesus' life. Because Jesus is the reason for our living. We are living today because Jesus Christ has given us life. And uh, the, gift of, um, the gift of life. So we just want to uh, thank God for his goodness and his mercy. So just know that this year you are living because of Jesus Christ. And we are going to dip deeper into the word of God. Last Sunday we began to look at the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ, the special uh, birth of our Lord Jesus Christ, uh, where we looked at uh, Isaiah 9.6. We are not going through much of that. We did that last week. Uh, to us a child is born. To us a son is given. Somebody was giving his son. Who is that one? God gave us his son, uh, Jesus uh, Christ. And uh, a child was born in Bethlehem. Uh, but when you look at uh, this uh, uh, child, then you are looking at uh, the son who was given by God. What is his name? Jesus Christ. And the Bible assured us to say uh, the government was upon his shoulder and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. All these things uh, were given to Isaiah, uh, the prophet, 700 years before Jesus was born. What a mighty prophecy that was. And I want to encourage each one of you today, get your Bibles, get your books, and we'll be writing a lot of notes, and we'll be reading a lot of scriptures. Because as we heard Deacon is telling us, all of us, get your Bibles, get your uh, Bibles, and we'll be reading. As we were saying, if we want to know a friend, you need to talk to your friend. You need to hear what your friend is doing, where they are, what are they doing. Jesus is our Lord, is our Father, is our Master, is a friend. And he was born uh, for such a time to give us uh, life. And there was no place for him to be born. Can you imagine the King of Kings, the Creator of all the earth? He had no place uh, where he could uh, just uh, put his head to, to sleep. Uh, but he was born as the King of Kings. And uh, she wrapped him in a baby, swaddling clothes, uh, milk clothes in a manger. The shepherds were there out there to witness the birth of all times of our Lord Jesus Christ. The angels announced to them and says, don't be afraid. Don't be discouraged. Uh, don't be uh, afraid. This is good news. Great joy. 2022. Jesus is bringing great joy to us. He was born in David's town, the, the town of Bethlehem. And uh, the host of angels were praising God. Glory and peace and favor to you who are here on earth. But glory be to God. And we mentioned Jesus was circumcised at the eighth day as the custom, the Jewish custom. Now today I want to dive into the uniqueness of Jesus Christ. If you are writing, that's the message, that's the title for the message today, the uniqueness of Jesus Christ. Why is Jesus so different from all other? Why is Jesus uh, different uh, from all the people on earth? from all the prophets of this earth. Why is Jesus unique? The uniqueness of Jesus Christ. And we are going to journey through the Bible to look at Jesus' life in prophecy, how that Jesus was spoken of before he was born. It is only Jesus Christ. If you go into the Bible, the Jewish people that God had been speaking to uh, from Abraham and uh, through all the prophets, God was telling them, I will send my son. There is a Messiah who is going to be born to deliver you, save you, save humanity. So they were looking forward to this Messiah. And uh, prophecies were being given. And I want to 
mention today that when you read the Bible and you go back into the Old Testament and the way God was ministering to the Jewish people, prophecy is not when somebody tells you what is going to happen. It's more than that. In the Jewish writings and the Bible, prophecy is a pattern. God will bring something and they will look uh, at uh, other things that uh, uh, to say, okay, this happened. And because this happened, then you discover that uh, they will look for other things happening. So the Jewish people had to look for a pattern to say what is going to happen? Where is this child going to be born? When is he going to be born? So there were things they were looking out for. And uh, these uh, uh, things that we are looking out for are the ones that makes Jesus unique. These are the things that makes Jesus a different person. These are the things these are the things that we are looking out for. Where is he going to be born? How is he going to be born? And of all the people that were born, only Jesus fulfilled these prophecies, these patterns. Because they were looking, we must look out which city is he going to be born in. How is he going to be born? How is it going to be? How is the life of this Savior going to be? So they were always looking out for the Messiah. That's why when the Magi came to say we have come to worship and they went straight to the palace because then they thought a king would be born in a palace. But when they came to Herod, he says, no, I don't know about that. He asked his um, a wise men. They told him to say a Messiah, the Savior, has to be born in Bethlehem in the town of David because there was a prophecy before. And let's now look at uh, these prophecies. How come that one child can fulfill all the prophecies that were told many years before? Some prophecies were given over 1,500 years before he was born. The one we just read in Isaiah 9, 6, were given 700 before. But beyond that, you go back to Genesis and we shall see that today and this year, the year of separation. We must be separated uh, by God and we need, that is the theme uh, for uh, Warwick Church, uh, all the churches of Weapons of Revival, of which we are part of. This is the year of separation. But how are we going to be separated? Is by looking at this child who was separated the way back before the times. Before anybody came to know what was going to happen, God knew what was going to happen and he prepared everything. And there was a pattern of things happening. That is what is called prophecy. Prophecy in the Bible is a pattern. How God operates and you can go into the patterns of God and fit in. As we heard from our children from Jene, grow up your wings in Christ Jesus. Uh, go on the wings of the Almighty God. And as Joshua told us today, Prophet Joshua, to say, yes, these last few years hasn't been great, but 2022 is going to be uh, great. And we heard uh, uh, Jemima telling us uh, to say, 2022, God is going to protect us. Uh, Reza was singing, Jehovah Jireh, God our provider. So despite uh, you being among people, God is going to separate you and do great things in your life, in my life. All we need is to trust him. Amen and amen. So now, welcome to 2022, the year of separation, the year of Jesus' manifestation, as Deaconess was telling us. Jesus is going to do great things in our lives. God is going to manifest in a very special way. If you have never had a good year, just prepare yourself. The setting is smooth, as Jeanette was saying, uh, grow your wings in the Lord. Tell God to say, I want 
want to fly to higher heights. I know I'm surrounded with Omicron, but I'm separated for Jesus. I know the economy is not the greatest, but I am separated by God. And I want you to mark these words as we look into the word of God. The more we trust Jesus, the more we are going to see his manifestation. This year, I am believing God said, God, manifest yourself in our lives. Separate us. Those who are in the UK, make sure that this year, at least you make, uh, even if you are far away, uh, make a Sunday, come to a uh, church and uh, to the building so we can have fellowship. Yes, we will continue with um, online uh, uh, providence by God's grace because some of you, you might be working in the afternoon so you can't travel from far away. Uh, some of you... Uh, because of various reasons, uh, you are in your uh, homes uh, and uh, joining the live service, uh, fantastic. But I want to assure you, as you watch from your homes, those our online platform, we are believing God that this year, God is going to manifest uh, His power. God is going to help you. Jesus is going to manifest in your power, in His power in your life. If you are sick, believe God for healing. If you need a financial breakthrough, believe God if you have to read more material so you can uh, advance your life believe God Amen. so therefore welcome to 2022 the year of separation the year of Jesus's manifestation what we are going to experience this year is not because we are clever what we are going to experience this year is because Jesus is on the throne Amen. did you hear me the reason why we are going to succeed this year is because Jesus is on the throne he is the king of kings but what have been said about this child what has been said about this king what has been said about jesus christ one thing that we are going to do is trust god 2022 year of trusting god trust god trust jesus he is a mighty god we're going to do all we can we need to get our boosters we need to get vaccines. We need to get ready in every area. But above all, we are trusting God in 2022. Amen. Amen. I did mention Jesus, who is going to separate us, who is going to bless us, who is going to protect us, who is going to provide for us, who is Jehovah Jireh. What does his name mean? I want you, if you have never used the name of Jesus so much, in 2022, try to use this name every day. You wake up, declare, Jesus, I love you. When you're going out, say, Jesus, you are my king. Jesus, you are my Jehovah Jireh, you are my provider. Mm. Jesus, you are my Jehovah Rapha, mm. you are my healer. Jesus, you are my everlasting God. Amen. Jesus, you are my leader. Say to Jesus, you are my deliverer, my rescuer. Whatever you want, tell Jesus Christ. Before you do anything any day, just mention the name of Jesus. Mm. I want to invite you in 2022, use the name of Jesus than ever before. If you have never used the name of Jesus more than anything, 2022 is the year to use the name of Jesus. Mm. Don't just be limited to God. God means he divine. Something that is spiritual. But there are so many gods in this world. But there is only one savior. Jesus Christ. What does his name mean? We looked at that. And let's go quickly through that. Eliezer, what does the name uh, Jesus, what is the root word uh, on the screen? Uh, what does uh, that uh, uh, word mean? Uh, what is uh, uh, Jesus? Uh, if you don't uh, use Jesus, what is the other word for Jesus? Yeshua. Yeshua. What is the other word, Shekinah, for Yeshua? Joshua. Joshua. Those are the root words. So when you are saying Joshua, in Hebrew you are saying Yeshua. What does it mean, Yeshua? Jehovah is salvation. Amen. God is the one who saves me. When I am in trouble, he comes to my rescue. When I'm facing a challenge, he delivers me. He delivers me. He rescues me. 
The other word that Jesus was given is a Mashiach or Messiah we call it. Or in Greek, Christos. What is Christos? English equivalent is Christ. What does it mean? Anointed one. Remember Acts chapter number, uh, I think, uh, 320. The Bible says how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth who went about doing good because he anointed him with the Spirit. So use the name of Jesus. You are entitled. Yeshua, that is his name. The anointed one, Christos, Christ, the anointed one. If you put these two words together, you remember we call him Jesus Christ. Yeshua Christos. Yeshua Yamashiach. Mm. Jesus Christ. Jesus, Savior, Deliverer. Christ, Anointed One. So you are saying, Jesus, the Anointed One. What is he anointed for? What is he empowered? Anointed simply means uh, to be empowered. So you are empowered by the Holy Spirit through Jesus Christ. So 2022 is a good year. To work with the one that empowers you. To work with one that delivers you. Uh, my friend John was telling me one time, uh, he had a pain, uh, in, uh, 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 he twisted his leg, and he just cried to say, Jesus, give me the strength and heal me. By the morning, the pain was gone. Mm. Jesus is our rescuer. Mm. Jesus is our deliverer. I have shared uh, uh, time and again the testimony uh, when I was uh, getting married uh, to my beloved wife, Beata, and uh, I was in Zambia then, and I was, uh, uh, you know, there is Lobola in our tradition. Uh, when you are marrying, which is a good thing, it's also uh, in the Bible, uh, I was looking for money uh, to... Uh, to pay uh, for my lobola. Uh, it was a lot of money by then in Kwacha. And uh, then I was doing missions, doing God's work, sharing um, the word of God uh, where I was. And as I was uh, 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 sharing um, uh, the word of God where I was doing missions, I received a phone call uh, to say, Pastor Nkole, uh, you need uh, to, to come. Somebody came home looking for you. And uh, he said, uh, you need to send him uh, uh, your NRSC, your ID details and everything. I came back and I went to see this person. He says, oh yeah, they are employing uh, people and in this old town, all they want 11 people. And I said, 11 people? Uh, he said, yes, only 11 people. The government is looking for 11 people that are going to do uh, uh, the work. Uh, to sensitize people uh, for the forthcoming elections uh, because the president at, at that time passed on in our great nation Zambia and uh, out of the whole city they wanted only 11 people to do this work and this man came looking for me and I just looked at that when I went to work they began to pay me every month and guess what the moment that I received all the money that was needed for my lobola to pay for my wife uh, as an appreciation to say I'm marrying somebody special as uh, so I was uh, asked to uh, to pay guess what the moment i received the, the last amount that now i've paid enough they terminated the contract mm. other people complained how can they terminate a contract i said for you go and complain go and uh, do whatever you want i'm not appealing i know i came here by divine appointment what i'm saying Jesus is our provider, is our rescue. Amen. I did not be for the providence of God. I was not going to uh, get that uh, amount of money to pay. So what I'm saying, Jesus is going to give you ways and means to achieve your goals in 2022. What else are we expecting God in 2022? Jesus is going to decorate your life. Amen. Hallelujah. No matter how scruffy your life might have been, 2022, God is going to decorate your life. Amen. I want you to tell your friend, to tell your family, and they shall see. By the time Jesus is finished with you in this year, mm -hmm. my God, my God, you'll be a different person. All you need is mm -hmm. get closer to this Jesus. He's going to decorate your life. Amen. He's going to beautify you. He's going to wipe away your tears because he's the King of Kings. So Jesus is going to decorate your life 
Happy New Year 2022. The year of separation. Amen. The year when God is going to decorate your life. The year that God is going to paint your life beautiful. You've never experienced this before as Deaconess mm -hmm. was telling us at the beginning of the session. God is going to beautify your life. Amen. God is going to save you from anything that the enemy meant for evil. Mm -hmm. Because he's a mighty God. Hallelujah. And as Warwick, home of disciples, our church confession, Shekinah, what is our church confession? As uh, Kids Green Warwick, we are talking about Jesus, the uniqueness of Jesus Christ loudly. What is our church confession? What do we say? Jesus Christ is the only Son of the living God. Once again, Jesus Christ is the, is only, the only Son of the the living God. Amen and amen. I want you to know Jesus Christ. Remember the name we have defined what it means. In other languages of the world, names don't mean anything. Just let us put together. But in Hebrew, in Greek, in which the Bible was written, all the names, they have a meaning. Jesus means Yeshua, Joshua, Deliverer, Savior, Salvation. So we confess him, every member of Warwick, we want to encourage you, put this at the top of your list to confess Jesus this year. Mm. Jesus is the only son of God. When you mention that name Jesus, you are saying, my savior, my deliverer, my rescuer, you are going to rescue me, you are going to give me all I need in this year. Hallelujah. Amen. What did Jesus say about himself? Pastor Beata, if you can read for us Hebrews chapter number 10 and verse 7. All of you, I want you to have your pens ready and your notebooks. This year you need to buy a diary. You need to buy a book where you need to write your scriptures and the things that God is doing in your life and is going to do. Hallelujah. Hebrews chapter number 10 verse 7. And uh, Shekinah, if you can find that Genesis chapter number uh, 3 and verse 15. Eliezer, uh, if you can find Galatians 4.4. 4. Pastor Beata, if you can find uh, Hebrews 10.7. What did Jesus say about himself? And then we go to look at what did other people say about Jesus in prophets. What does God say? about Jesus is not what people of this world think and say. Hebrews 10, 7, and then Shekinah, Genesis 3, 15, and Eliezer, Galatians 4, 4. Yes, please. Uh, Hebrews chapter 10, verse 7, the Bible reads, Hebrews 10, 7, mm. the Bible reads, Then I said, Behold, I have come, in the volume of the book, it is written of me to do your will, O God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Did you hear that? This is Jesus Christ confessing about himself, looking at the Bible, the scrolls by then. When Jesus lived and walked on earth, there was no Bible with 66 books. There were only the Old Testament written on scrolls. And every time that he went... Uh, to to the uh, to the synagogue or to the temple in Jerusalem, they were reading the scrolls, which now we call the books of the Bible. And what has written now about Jesus? Now hear what Jesus said himself. Then I said, Jesus Christ himself confessing, Here I am. It is written about me in the scroll. In the books of the Bible, it is written about me. I have come to do your will, my God. Amen. So what is written in the Bible is the will of God. How are we going to succeed in 2022? By doing the will of God. How do we know the will of God? By going back to the Bible, because that is the will of God. What is the Bible according to Jesus in Hebrews 10, 7? He says, it is written about me. So from Genesis to Revelation, all you are reading, you are reading about one man. What is his name? Jesus Christ. That's why we must pay attention to Jesus Christ. The words that are written about Jesus. From where? Old Testament, New Testament, all the 66 books. 
talks about Jesus. This is what Jesus confessed and confirmed. Then I said, here I am, Jesus Christ. It is written about me in the scroll. So when you are reading the Bible, you are reading about Jesus. Can I tell you something? You can find Jesus on every page of the Bible. From Genesis 1 to Revelation, you can find Jesus Christ. If you read any book in the Bible, you find Jesus Christ written. And you can see Jesus on those pages uh, of the Bible. Let's go to Genesis 3.15 before we go to Galatians 4.4. 4. So we'll be crisscrossing the scriptures from uh, Genesis to Revelation to look at this Jesus. This year of separation, we want Jesus Christ, more of Jesus, to know more about Jesus. You know more about movies, about uh, 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 the, the games of this world, the celebrities. But this year we want to go and grow our wings and fly higher to know the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Yes, uh, Shekinah, what does the Bible say in uh, Genesis 3.15? Genesis 3.15 says, yes. I will make you and the woman enemies to each other. Your descendants and her descendants will be enemies. Her child will crush your head and you will bite his heel. So God, when he was creating the heavens and the earth, he prophesied, he says, I will make an enmity between the seed of a woman. Which seed? The seed that was coming in Jesus Christ. So from Genesis, you can see Jesus Christ. He says, I will put an enmity. And when this child, the son of a woman, who is Jesus Christ, is going to crush your hair, is going to destroy you, devil, you have no authority. So 2022 is a year to exalt Jesus to lift his name because he's here to destroy all the works of the enemy. The Omicron, the diseases, the suffering, the evil things, racism, and all bad things that people are doing. It is a Galatians 4, 4. What does the scripture say loudly? But when the right time came, God sent his son. His son was born of a woman and lived under the law. Amen. Did you hear that? When the right time came. So God respects time. We are in another phase of life. 2022. The Bible says when the right time came. What did God do to what he had promised in Genesis 3.15 that a, a child shall be born of a woman? Galatians 4.4 4 tells us that that child was born at the right time. And because he was born at the right time, he was living under the law. Amen. Amen. What else do we expect in 2022? 2022, prepare yourself for God's best. Amen. Amen. Because Jesus was born. In 2022, prepare yourself for God's best. Jesus is going to manifest in our lives through knowing him. The more we know of this Jesus, the Bible just told us at the right time, Jesus was born. Jesus came to earth and he was born. So what are we going to do in 2022 to actualize what God has said? Mm -hmm. Prepare yourself. Life happens better and well to those who prepare uh, themselves uh, uh, for it. So we need to prepare ourselves. We need to prepare ourselves for the best. Prepare yourself for God's best. Amen. People, when they go to the party, they know there is some dancing. Yes, after dancing, yes, there are some announcements. But you know what? Get your forks ready. Get your knives ready. Because the buffet is coming. Before good, because good times are coming. So 2022, prepare yourself. Don't go by all these things that people say, No, I'm not going to prepare. I don't know what is going to happen. That's why you have Jesus. Because Jesus is the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Does Jesus know the future? The answer is yes. Does God hold the future? The answer is yes. So mm -hmm. prepare for the best because you belong to Jesus and he's going to manifest and do it. You are not going to do it. All you are doing is to prepare yourself. 2022, prepare yourself. 
for the very best because Jesus is on the throne and is going to manifest in your life. I want to encourage you, prepare yourself. If it's a job, prepare yourself for that job. If it means a uh, uh, reading uh, uh, books and doing what you can just prepare yourself mm. for God's best and mm. I want to encourage you 2022 as Joshua told us in that poem is going to be the best and as Jemima, Eliezer, Jene, they were sharing the poem